take me back to a place where I hello guys and welcome to the part two of my garden makeover and deck making in my previous video i did a deck decking using a palette which was i mean free palette <laughs> as i mentioned a lot and so many times and so that is done i showed you how it looked it is still showing at the end there so, so in this next one the makeover continues as i dig the sides of the garden the reason why i'm digging this side is that the grasses at those ends never grows well you always see the soil going through them and very very like mossy like it's not healthy it doesn't look good i think because it's closer to the shed and there there is stones and things at the side there so i decided to completely take those little bits off and then redecorate them well with like stones and stuff i got some stones from uh weeks or so i think at yeah, one of the uh, shops i got about three or four bags of stones and i'm going to use to decorate it the stones are white stones so what i'm doing i'm just uh digging the side of the place that i want to put the stone at i use my piece of uh measuring to that that long rope looking kind of to measure where i want and i decided to yeah to just give it a bit of like a c kept in the other end if you see yeah so there is a bin about my bin is in the corner there that is why i said in my previous video that this garden is not that big it's very small and so i have to make sure i make good use of it and also decorate properly so that i don't like mess the whole place up okay so just taking the uh, soil and then the grasses that i pulled out all out i'm going to put this into the, like the bin and all that all done the grass and uh, the soil is smoothed out and and I put some kind of a uh, plastic edging at the side of the grass, the fresh grass, and then the place I digged. So this is the stones I'm going to use. They are looking really nice. They are like white. They say white uh, uh, beach beach stones. I think yeah, about six pound each or so. Either six or I think we got some of them half price. In total, we paid about uh, either twelve or fourteen pound for the five bags. It's really really cheap. Yeah, compared to what the original prices are because some of the bags were torn. And all that so they reduce the prices for us which is a good deal okay so to continue just spreading my pebbles around there they are very small or medium size like the pebble yeah a bit smaller yep so they have like a kind of blinks in them when the sun is shining on them they become very shiny it looks really good if you get closer to the stones so just spreading them all around the place that i want them to be and then just going to use my rake that is the long tool that is there that's the one i'm carrying now using the rake to just uh straighten like i mean uh spread the pepper all around and make it all smooth and looking good all underneath towards the decking that i made you can see the decking that i talked about it's like it's not that tall it's just risen above the ground so that when you put chairs and things that you can feel good and see it and when it rains you don't see the water running all under your feet and all that that's the main reason why i did this and so just putting the remaining of the pebbles there to just cover the whole place i thought <laughs> this is not going to be enough but actually it's quite a lot really and it has covered all the places that i want to use it for it look really good actually when we finish and as we continue i'm going to be painting the decking in this video oh you like the color i'm going to go for <laughs> it looks really good anyway so this uh, platform that is in front there we, we designed it with like uh, some blocks my partner helped me and then we did that so that one i decided to paint it because you know it's just on its own like that it's not really look nice if i paint the decking and then i, I put pebbles and stuff i decorate and i don't paint that because it would just be going like green and all that so i just painted it i'm using a missionary paint to paint it this paint is for like building outside of a building so you can use it to paint any kind of like structure like that so not wood though <laughs> anyway so just painting it all nicely make sure it's all covered and smoothly well done as you can see it is really looking good already matching with the pebbles that i put there and it's going to look really good when i finish the whole process yeah it took me about uh about two to three hours to do the whole of this process i mean digging the grounds putting the stones painting this little bit and then painting the decking yep as i said the decking i'm going to paint it with like black i also thought of like painting the shed itself but i don't know yet i think it will be too much i will just leave it at the moment after decorating and see how it will look anyway so now it's time for the painting this is the paint i'm going to use to uh paint my my palette the palette when i paint it it's going to like absorb into the the paint is going to absorb into the palette yeah it's going to absorb into the wood it's like a 
wood stain something like that sort of kind of yeah so just painting it all around it's kind of a good day sunny as you can see it's really good it's not one of those raining days that when you wake up it's all like dark and you can't do anything so i got motivated to do this work because of the weather anyway so just painting all around <laughs> i'm making sure i put like a um the paint from the very end to like the up to cover the whole part of the palette or the decking if you know what i mean yeah and also to make sure this is properly done i did like two coating when i finished this side of the the palette i went to do the other side but to make this video very short i'm going to just paint one side of it and then like show you the result and all that because it's a very long video so as i said when i finish this whole side i'm going to paint the other side too and like two times of uh, like coat which will cover it all up and so this is how it is looking just painting the brush i'm using i bought it from uh wellco yeah it wasn't the best brush really it's had, had kind of like a very hard holding surface anyway so this is how it is looking now <laughs> i made sure i put uh, the paint through the the there you can see there is little spaces through the every palette like every wood across there so i make sure i paint and then it goes through all the little bits so that it covers to make it look good it's coming all together also what do you think i wanted to paint the pole that you can see a pole on the fence there the long pole standing i wanted to paint them to black like those poles black but i don't know if it will make the whole place look black or it make the whole place look too much painted <laughs> anyway so almost getting there just being gentle especially as you can see the edges there is white there and then there is black if you're not careful you're going to mess the whole thing up like you know putting black on the white is <laughs> it's there are two different kind of paints so one might not end up covering the other one so that's why i'm being very careful and gentle when i'm painting this side and as you can see this is the result of uh what i started doing you know oh god i like this this little pebbles like sorry i mean pebbles <laughs> they look really nice very cute look look at that it looks really good the whole place is like bright and like it make the whole place look good especially the deck and it make the whole place look bigger if you know yep if you can see what well, make the place look bigger actually it is very small but because of the decking the whole place look bigger and the painting and everything it's looking really good i have some woods like blue looking at the back of the fence if you can see i'll cut them and use them for other projects it's just like ss woods that we left there for other works we don't know where to put them that's why i left them there so it's looking messy so when i bring it to the top this is how it is looking i'm just walking on it so i can see you can see that little spaces till the paint not touched so i'm going to leave this to fully fully dry out and then i'll see if there is any little pits like places i'm going to do another more painting or like touch-ups to cover all the places also i mentioned in my other video that i'm going to be using a water seal there is this uh, liquid that you can use to paint and it to cover the water anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye